welcome to 10 damage playing video games and today we are playing Zelda Phantom Hourglass for the Nintendo DS real quick um, I'm actually recording this on a regular DS Wow woo, cool um, I uh, have a capture card installed to my Nintendo DS it's a standard Nintendo DS not a 3DS or a 2DS rather um, and it is the uh, pyramid style that people call it and uh, I have a little Wind Waker skin for it how cool is that I don't know if you guys can even see it I don't even know if you could see it I'll take pictures of it and I'll put it in the video how about that that'll be cool um, so I love this game first of all I would like to start off with that and I haven't played it in a long time and I want to see how well it holds up I guess and also I've heard a bunch of people talking about it and they say, oh, it's the worst Zelda game, and it's not good, and the touch controls suck. Um, screw them. This is actually a really cool game. Um, I played this a long time ago, so maybe it's not, but my instinct tells me that this game is good, and I stand by that. So let's let's explore. Let's, let's see how good this game is uh, with its uh, baffling touch controls. Um, we're gonna start a new file, and my name is going to be... I already have a good name here. Merp. Merp. We're gonna be Merp. Is this name okay? Dang right, it's okay. I am right-handed. Yes. So let's... let's start an adventure. The battle mode's pretty cool, too. I remember doing that, uh, as a kid. Oh! Our story begins not long ago. Pirates! I have an itch on my eye. There was a young girl, savvy to the seas and head of a band of pirates. Her name was Tetra. She was pretty, brash, and brave. Tetra and her handsome pirates set out to explore the vast and unfamiliar seas. I don't like him. One day, on a stop at a, an island, Tetra met a young boy dressed in green. After a series of strange events, the, do, the two began traveling together. Oh yeah, we're traveling together now, yeah. <gasps> they found old ruins, and light enveloped Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Oh my god! Her lineage traced back to the Hyrule Kingdom. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Oh my god, whoa, whoa, help me! Oh no! Just then a huge ominous king appeared. <laughs> he carried Princess Zelda away. <laughs> oh no! The evil, <laughs> the evil king sought the sacred power, passed down, to the Hyrulean princess. He schemed to take the power and use it for himself. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. The boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed evil monsters and used their power to become a true hero. After long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king and beautiful Princess Zelda was rescued at last. Later, the two set out with the brave pirate crew in search of new lands and money. Yes, they set sail together. A happy pirate ending. Or so you might think. I want you to think of my amazing paper cutouts. Did you guess that Tetra was really Princess Zelda? Hey, Merp, are you sleeping, Swami? Mm -hmm. 
You know the protagonist is always sleeping in a, in a Nintendo game. Map! Map! Stop messing around down there! You're both supposed to be on lookout! Hold on a moment. Pause. Ha! Huh, some legendary hero you are. Who'd believe you saved me from the evil king? Princess Zelda, we're nearly at that spot in the sea. I told you not to call me Zelda. Tetra worked just fine before, you know. But enough of that. So this is where the ghost ship is said to appear? Stay on the lookout for a creepy looking ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about all those ships that have gone missing? Mm, I say the ghost ship is behind all of it. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. And it's all because of that scary ghost ship. G -g 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 ghost Hey, Tetra. They say these seas are protected, yeah? Something about a spirit called the Ocean King. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really... Uh, unless there really is an evil ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a ghost ship. I bet it's just some pirates up to no good. I'll expose them as a bunch of frauds. And remind them that there are rules to being pirates. Yeah. Rules to being pirates. Are you guys really pirates? I doubt there really is an Ocean King anyways. I must drink. Pardon me. Hey, look. The air feels chilly. Eerie, even. I say we take a detour out of this creepy place. Quit being so scared. We're here to see the world, not take detours. Ship ahoy! Tetra, I can see a ship. Yeah, a ship up ahead. Evil ghost ship! Creepy skulls and everything. That is a ghost ship if I've ever seen one. Wow. So wasn't there a ghost ship in Wind Waker as well? If I'm not mistaken. There totally was. I. It wasn't that long ago since I played Wind Waker. Is this the same ghost ship? Or just... Like, it's brother. Or, like, sister or something. I don't know. It's the ghost ship. These waters really are cursed. And you call yourself a pirate? It's just a ship. But it does look like it could be the ghost ship. There might even be a load of treasure on board. That's it. I'm going to, the, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. She dead. <laughs> oh no, that creepy music. Something definitely happened. She's dead. Wahoo! Oh no. The princess was just killed by a ship. No. Longest slow fall ever. Merp! Save me! Merp! No! Save me, Merp! Oh, gee whiz. Fairies, again. I thought we were done with fairies since Ocarina of Time. 
and Majora's Mask. Was there a fairy in Twilight Princess? I don't know. It was Midna. So there was no fairy in Twilight Princess. So if you couldn't tell, this is actually uh, technically a sequel to Wind Waker. And, like, the story takes place right afterwards. Um, spoiler alert for those of you who haven't played Wind Waker. Spoiler. This is the spoiler right here. This is spoiler time. Spoiler time right now, okay? At the end of Wind Waker, you beat... You, um... You defeat Gan, and it kind of told you that in... I guess it's not really a spoiler, so... <laughs> You kind of need to know this in order to watch this, so um, it's not a spoiler. Not spoiler alert. Sorry. Um, so you go out and just adventure off into the sea with the pirates at the end of the game. And uh, it's a great game. You should totally play Wind Waker HD for Wii U. It is absolutely magnificent. Oh, phew! You're awake! You weren't moving, so I thought you were done for. But it looks like you're going to be okay. I'm Ciella. I'm going to pronounce it Ciella because... Oops, I dropped my stylus. Because, um... Uh... Or Ciella? 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 I'm going to call her Ciella. Because... Well, hopefully I'll remember to call her that. But, um... I don't know. Ciella sounds cool. It sounds like a good name. I'm going to call her Ciella. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. I'm Ciella. You see, I'm a fairy. I was out fluttering around and found you here. What happened? Uh... <gasps> the princess was stolen by water. There was black water and yellow water. What? A ghost ship? Your friend was taken away by a ghost ship? So you were following after her. And you got separated from your own ship, huh? Is it the ghost ship people have been talking about? They say that those it takes are never seen again. You want to know more about the ghost ship? Grandpa will know about it. I lost my memory. A long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. He's very sweet. So you've got, got nothing to worry about. Our house is up there off the beach. Come on. So we've been going for about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit less. Uh, we're going to go perhaps to 20. We'll see. Oh, can you walk? Tap the direction you want to move with your stylus. Yes, this is a um, touch controls based game. So the way this is going to work is that... Um, the screen on the bottom is going to be the biggest screen for most of the playthrough because that's the one that I have to use the touch screen for. Pretty much everything in this game as far as mechanics are based around the touch screen and uh, some of the other functions that the DS can do. Uh, for instance, there's the mic and uh, there's going to be times when I have to blow out candles using the mic or I have to scream into the mic. And uh, the way to do this is like... <sighs> You blow, you blow on it. You gotta blow it, man. You gotta blow the DS. You gotta, you gotta blow that. Sh that's. Anyways, <laughs> um, there's also times when um, you have to scream at it and just be like, "Hey, stop it!" <laughs> and there's also times where you have to close the DS. Um, I don't know how any of that is going to actually work or translate over to recording, but hopefully nothing goes wrong. And if it does, then I'll work around it and hopefully everything will be a okay so let's go see grandpa Whee! oh wait can't i if you spin it like this i think you roll yeah there we go we can roll it's not that bad not that bad people criticize this game for the, the touch controls but uh i kind of like it so take that picking up rocks in a uh, Link to the Past, you couldn't really pick up much from the beginning. In this game, you could, like, pick up boulders and stuff, so... Take that, Link to the Past. Uh, well, Link to the Past is awesome, so... I really... Even on the internet, I can't say anything about that game, because it's protected by the, uh, internet in so many ways. Anyways... Ah, 
Hello, traveler. So your name is Merp. What kind of name is Merp? I am Oceus, and I live on this island. See, Scylla told me all about what happened to you. I also hear that your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. But Grandpa, what are you saying? Merp's friend was carried away. Pure, pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the seas in search of victims to capture, and no one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay away from that ghost ship. No, to seek out that ship would be to seek out your own doom. That's, that's why we have to do something, Grandpa. Oh, mercy. <laughs> You're not gonna give up, are you? Ha! <laughs> Young people. <laughs> There's a port to the east of here. A sailor by the name of Linebeck should be there. He'll be wi willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. Look on your map. A harbor is here. You mean that... You mean that guy who came to visit Grandpa? To visit Grandpa? <laughs> he asked about the ghost ship. I remember him. <gasps> I'll go with Merp and show him who he is. It's okay, right, Grandpa? Urgh, calm down. Yes. I don't see why you can't go along. I'm going... I'm sure you can help Merp. Merp. Thank you, Grandpa! Let's go, Merp! Yeah! Adventure! He's always better than Nancy, that one. Now, Merp, lately there have been many monster sightings. I gave in to you and told you about Linebeck, but you be careful out there. Okay, Grandpa! Let's go! Throwing barrels. Okay, so now we have to go over here, where the bridge will be collapsed. The bridge will be collapsed. What's that rumbling? Another earthquake? So many quakes around lately. Bad signs for sure, and I bet there are even more worse things to come. She is very negative throughout this game. I believe that she is very negative. Oh heavens, that quake just broke the bridge again. So many quakes lately. And the bridge breaks every time there's a big one. There's a second way to get to town, unfortunately. But unfortunately, it leads through a frightening cave full of monsters. What to do? Well, wait for the bridge to be fixed, of course. Uh, I don't know about me. I'm an adventurer, and I'm going to read this sign. To the port. Yes, that is to the port. Let's talk to Grandpa. So that earthquake broke the bridge, did it? Ah, unfortunate. There is another way to the port, but it's far too dangerous. No, wait for someone to rebuild the bridge. That's the only safe course. Don't even think about braving the path to the north. Okay, we're braving the path to the north. Um, okay. Sign! Danger! Monsters ahead! Let's check it out. <laughs> Whoa! Monsters! Look out, Merp! It's way too dangerous! You need something to defend yourself with! We have to go back! No, I don't. I'm capable of running past them. Oh, what's this guy do? Hello? Whoa! Uh, ow! Ah! Okay, so I really cannot get through them. Excuse me, excuse me. Just just coming on just walking on through. Just walking on through. Don't mind me. Oh no! The greatest evil to all Zelda games. Not Ganon. The beeping noise! No! Stop beeping! Ah. Oh crap! Ah. There's got to be some parts in here, so I'm just going to 
skip all this and continue to talk to Grandpa. I don't know. Tried the path to the north, did ya? Sila, don't pretend to, you forgot. I told you never to go that way. We've seen so many quakes rattle the island lately, Merp, and monsters have been been seen closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. That cave up, no, up north leads to the port, it's true, but the path will be crawling with monsters. Do not even think about it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. I don't want to, Grandpa. I want to die to monsters. Well, Grandpa wants us to stay out of trouble. But we need to find your friend. If only you found a sword, then you could show those monsters. Okay. Here's first criticism. This game takes a while to start up. It's been way past 20 minutes. I just want to slay some monsters. But I think... I think other Zelda games were were like that too, so I'll have it pass. But we're gonna get the sword, and then we're gonna go on to episode two. So for this episode, we're just gonna get the sword, and then go up uh, episode two. Uh, I think I remember Grandpa storing storing a sword back there. Now, how to get this door open? I remember he cracks open a door by writing a number on that sign. I think he says that it's the number of palm trees on the beach. Sneaky. Okay, this is actually kind of kind of neat that they did this. Um, this this game in general has a lot to do with writing on the map. This is freaking cool. This is so cool that they did this. I love this idea because whenever you find like a chest somewhere that you can't get to in a Zelda game. I always forget about it later because I for it's I walk past it and I never go back to like the old dungeons to like find everything. But if you do to find everything, if you do want to complete the game, this makes it way easier. Check this out. I'm just gonna write an eight up there, and then I'm just gonna erase it real quick, and then I'm gonna write uh, uh I'm gonna draw a smiley face here. I'm gonna draw a smiley face, and that's like a little mustache right here, and uh, this is its mouth. See? How cool is that? That's so freaking innovative. That's so useful. Uh, there's a lot that we're going to do with that mechanic, too. It's just going to be pretty neat. Um, so we're going to just write down how many trees are on the beach. So that we can find out how to get through that door and get the sword. So I see three, four, five, six, seven. Do those count? So that's nine. So let's write that down. I'm just gonna erase this real quick. Nine. And I don't have to remember that, because I wrote it down. How freaking convenient! How freaking convenient! That's freaking convenient! I love convenient! Thank god a heart. Give me another heart, please. Give me another heart, please. Okay, all right. Grandpa uses uh, this cave as his storehouse. I think I remember... Oh, come on, I know. How do I interact with this? Hmm. I'm gonna read the sign. I think I have to read the sign. Keep hands off my things. Please ask first. Nine? Am I writing that wrong? That's a nine, right? Maybe I have to do it like this. Uh... Looks like a Q. Maybe seven? It was seven. Okay, those other trees didn't count. Seven. That was my own fault. That wasn't the game's fault. But how cool is that? I had to write it on the... And it even shows up on the thing. Like, I don't know if that's actually my writing on there. But 
I'm gonna do a zoom in. Like, I wrote that. I did that. And that's so neat. You got a sword! You got Oshis's sword. Tap an enemy or slide the stylus on the touch screen. You found a sword! Oh! We shouldn't tell Grandpa we're taking it. He'd be worried sick. Good for us, though. Now we can defend ourselves from the monsters. Let's see what this says real quick. Using the sword, basics number one, use the... St All right, I, 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 I know, I know. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Be sure to check in for the next episode and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Later.